Okay guys, so this is the CVJ River and uh, in this video I'm going to review it. Hi guys, my name is Ian. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do mostly audio product reviews and if you guys are new to my channel, do consider to subscribe and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. Okay, so CVJ River and it's currently retailing for 44 US dollars and if you guys are interested, do check out the link down in the description below. They have four different names. Uh, this is River, they have also Dusk, Autumn and Moon, um, all at different colors, right? So this is the blue one, the light blue one. So in this video, I'm going to go through the uh, accessories, the specs, the fit and comfort and of course the sound performance comes in a box like this uh, with anime girl on the front and the back here you do get some specs all right um, let's quickly go through it the sensitivity is 110 impedance is 22 ohms the frequency response is 10 to 40 thousand Hertz and it does show a graph of the IEM which I'll compare later with my own graph uh, the doesn't show here but the IEM is a hybrid with a single BA and a single dynamic driver so it's a hybrid okay in the box itself you get some paperwork of course okay uh, and you get some ear tips and these are um, uh, normal bore ear tips right and they're pretty okay feels like the uh, kb ear ear tips with the stiff stem in the middle and um, in a in a core and the um, flange itself is pr pretty good good quality flange right so very good fit I think uh, it's quite common but it's good fit comes with a pouch like this as well this is a drawstring pouch and you can put your IMs in there obviously it doesn't protect your IM from drops uh, and knocks but it does prevent it from scratches okay and uh, the cable it comes with is okay it's a four core cable with the angle 3.5 headphone jack and a plastic uh, Y splitter okay and it's got this um, velcro strap and the ear hooks they are okay as well I mean you look at the, the ear hooks it's just manufactured and bent uh, it's, it's soft right it, it works well all right you can see that it works well I can feel that I can feel that it works well but it's okay it could be better uh, it comes with two pin connector right so two pin connector so a very standard uh, cable I would say it's um, braided and uh, yeah 44 bucks you get this cable I wish the cable was better right and this is the IM itself um, and um, looks pretty uh, traditional type of IM with the uh, faceplate or uh, inlays all right uh, with the uh, model of it this model is river with the Chinese character model uh, and of course on this side is the river in English and it's got some marbling uh, inlays inside with the gold trim right on the inside is uh, resin so it's 3d printed and you can see there's 3d printed with some imperfections right on the nozzle itself right around here so yeah it's 3d printed you can tell that it's 3d printed okay and of course uh, um, hand assembled together um, the inner ear uh, inner shell has got a fin here so um, very prominent fin and it's got nice curves a nice shape to it okay and um, yeah uh, the nozzle is normal it's a pretty normal size bore with a metal perforated filter and the two pin connector is on the top here okay so in terms of the shell it's a pretty standard shell okay mm, yeah so how do they fit so obviously it fits my ear very well um, I have a few other IEMs that are um, with this type of shape a very common shape in ear monitor shape and this fin does help a lot and the nozzle is not too long so it doesn't go too deep into my ear canal and this part here actually sits in my inner ear very well so it does not give me any pain or discomfort and um, no physical fatigue while wearing this it's very comfortable can wear this the entire day so no issues with fit and comfort right so 
Now let's talk about the uh, sound performance of this and for that let me bring out my graph so be right back Okay, so I'm back and uh, as you can see I've graphed out this uh, IEM and let's talk about the technicalities of this um, I am before we talk about the sound signature. Um, this is a um, 1DD and 1BA uh, I am in terms of technicalities. I would grade it maybe above average. All right, uh, sound stage is it's okay. All right, you can actually um, it's pretty wide. You can hear it is pretty wide, uh, but in terms of the depth, right, it doesn't have much depth to it and uh, not much layering to it as well. So I would say it's an average uh, type of sound stage. Sound separation is good, imaging is good, um, and detail retrieval and resolution is okay, uh, average, right? So in overall technicalities of this, yeah, yeah uh, above average, right? Somewhere there. Uh, it's, it's not the best, of course, but uh, it's not the worst as well. Uh, I could hear that, you know, detail retrieval is uh, at a very normal and to me is normal but maybe to you it may be a very good uh, detail retrieval but uh, i've heard a lot of iems and this one to me is uh, yeah average all right and the resolution is also average it's not the clearest as well uh, it's not the most resolute iem i've heard uh, but it's okay right so in terms of technicalities i'll give it an average right now for sound signature i would say this one is a little bit odd in yeah a bit odd right in terms of the sound signature this is um i would say in between a v-shape and a u-shape um, and it's got a odd type of uh, presentation to me uh the bass is not overly done all right that's one thing good uh the treble is a little bit mm, scooped out right at the upper mids and again and then it dips down very quickly at the um upper well the treble upper upper treble right the, the air so overall presentation to me is it's okay i mean it sounds good right in terms of the sound presentation and the the um the way it's being tuned is a little bit odd all right now sub bass no complaints there sub bass has got a good uh, extension uh, good roll off and um, sounds a bit textured right it's got some texture to it a bit warm a bit warmish um, a bit on the dry side as well so it's somewhere in between right um, okay no complaints on the on the sub bass but it's the, the mid bass that has got um, a bit of an issue here for me but mid bass is forward all right as you can see mid bass and sub bass they are almost on the level plane and i would say it's is being mm, uh, the transition to the mids is is a little bit too um gentle so it actually bleeds into the mids right so that's that's the, my issue here it bleeds uh it does have a good control but it's just that it's just overly done right over too much of a mid bass mid bass has got good impact obviously and it's very um in um punchy impact all right it's got a good punchy impact uh and is a little bit warm all right so um the the bass is fast right but bass is fast but um it, it resonates pretty far into the mids as well because of the tuning i guess but it's got a good mid bass right don't get me wrong it's a good it's a good mid bass it's nice and clear and impactful it's got that punch there right but the mids right so mids as i mentioned you know um is is being impeded by the mid bass so pianos and the uh, violins uh they they will sound a little bit laid back and uh veiled by the mid bass and sometimes at the lower notes uh it sounds a little bit too much right too impactful that the uh, pianos they sound a little bit unnatural and violins as well uh, but this this one I would say uh, is more for rock bands, right? Rock bands maybe they they, they need that impact there, uh, but it's it's being tuned this way, and I I was hoping that the uh, mid bass would have a little bit more gent gentler impact 
on the mids. Okay. So mids, I would say it's okay. It's it's a mixed bag for me in terms of the mids. Uh, it has got good impact at the same time. It's a little bit too forward, right? For vocals, right? Vocals, uh, male vocals, they sound good. Obviously, I've got very forward uh, in presentation for the male vocals, uh, and got nice uh, tone to it as well. Pretty natural to warm. Type of tone to the male vocals, uh, and it's forward, right? It's forward. It's, it's got that authority in the mix. So I would say male vocals is is good, right? It's um, presented well in this sound signature. Uh, female vocals is the one that I hope you know they, they had more energy to it. I mean, that's energy. It's just the brightness, you know. It it's just a little bit. Um, I mean, it's bright, all right. The the balance armature does does present the female vocals well. It's clean and clear. It's got nice resolution in terms of the female vocals. It's just that uh, it is how it was tuned, right? Is the is the sparkle is a little bit lacking there, but it's bright. And then the energy is there as well. So you just imagine, you know, female vocals with that energy, that um, uh, presence, but is it does not sparkle. It's just a little bit hollowed. Uh, I, I can hear that the uh, female vocals a little bit hollowed out on certain tracks. Um, but on the whole, on the whole, female vocals, they they have that laid back um, presentation to me and more of a. Uh, behind the drums and behind the instruments type of presentation okay that's for female vocals now treble treble um i would say is clean clear but it's got a early unnatural roll off so cymbal strikes and hi hats bells and shakers uh they sound a little bit um uh unnaturally rolled off a little bit too early and uh, I, I want more. I want more resonant uh, resonance from the hi hats. You know, I want to hear that that clarity of that hi hat or that cymbal strike. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit rolled off here, as you can see after the eight k. It just rolls off pretty early. So yeah, the roll off is a little bit early in my opinion, and uh, I wish that this could have a little bit of a bump here so give it more of uh, air to the treble right so on the whole on the whole i would say this is okay it's just the tuning is a little bit uh unusual for me and uh i hope cvj can maybe uh, adjust a little bit for this trebles here and also the mid bass you know adjust this a little bit maybe just to show you guys uh to the harmon target um, if you look at the harmon target if because i i'm used to the harmon target i i listen to a lot of songs and different genre of songs and and i am needs to have that common tuning so that it plays well and that is the harmon target right so looking at the harmon target as you can see the mid bass is well uh, above the target and also the um the upper um, mid, which is this part here, the upper mids, it's, it's dipped down here. I mean, a lot of IMs are being dipped here. Don't get me wrong. Not It's not just the CVJ. Uh, there are other IMs being dipped. But this is a little bit too early where the gain is trying to pick up and then you don't get that gain. And suddenly, like female vocals, they lose that momentum, right? So maybe try to adjust this a little bit and of course the air right so this is where uh, the mid treble and of course the air uh, where suddenly you know it dips down and cymbal strikes they sound cut off right cut short not cut off cut short okay so yeah i hope that they can adjust this a little bit and just here a little bit and this IM will sound great but for now I mean based on this tuning uh, I would say um, for those who listen to rock bands and um, EDM and and uh, R&B they might like this IM um, but for those class classical listeners uh, 
analytical listeners, critical listeners, if you are very critical about your sound, uh, this may or may not work because sometimes uh, if there's female vocals uh, in the mix, in the track, then maybe you know you might want to use another IM. But for in general use, this is okay, I would say, yeah. But not for gen, not for classical listeners. All right, classical listeners, maybe uh, you might want to choose another IM to listen to. But mainly for rock uh, band listeners, um, guitar, electric guitars, you know, sounds great on this. Uh, and maybe trance, right? Trance is okay as well on this. So. Yeah, so that's I think um, a very niche and very um, particular market uh, where this uh, river is being suitable for. Um, and uh, if you are one of those who listen to this, and also if you are um, treble sensitive, this is also uh, suitable for you, right? Yeah, so it's a very um, niche market for this tuning. Uh, I hope CBJ will adjust this a little bit so you know it's more suitable for my listening preference right and yeah so that concludes my overall impression of this uh, cvj river and again if you guys are interested to do check out the link down in the description below so that you can take a look at yourself um, and that's it yeah so i hope you guys learned something from this video or enjoyed watching this video and if you did uh, do consider to give this video a thumbs up Right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching uh, and I wish you guys uh, have a great day ahead and I hope to see you again in my next video. Cheers.